Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 5th, 2019. Hit the like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Be sure to get your free trial copy of the new currency exchange planner, the number one must-have tool for Denarians for both pre and post RV planning. Link is in the description below. Fill out the registration and an email will be sent to you with the download link. Mention the Denarian and get 20% off the full version. I encourage you. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. We all cross the finish line together. First article of interest for today. Parliamentary source. Presidency of the Parliament intends to invite the Presidency of the Republic to send the draft budget 2020. A parliamentary source said on Thursday, December 5, 2019, that the Presidency of the House of Representatives intends to address the Presidency of the Republic to send the draft budget budget for 2020 to the Council by next week. The source said in an interview for Baghdad Today, the Presidency of the Council of Representatives intends to address the President of the Republic Baram Saleh to send the draft budget of the federal budget 2020 to Parliament by next week. Earlier in the day, members of the Parliamentary Finance Committee revealed the legal way out of the application of the budget law for 2020 after the government of Adel Abdul Mahdi became a caretaker government daily. It is not authorized to send bills to the House of Representatives. The decision of the Finance Committee, Ahmed Al Safar, said in an interview with Baghdad Today. According to the financial management law, if the budget is late and the new year begins, then the formula 1 12th of the previous year is applied, that is, applying the one month budget from the previous year in the new year and so for months. The rest. Al Safar, that the application of the budget of the previous year on the new year only to facilitate the necessary work and salaries and not the items to issue appointments or new projects. In turn, a member of the Finance Committee, Mao Hassan Hamdoun, in an interview, Baghdad today, that the general budget of the state must end in vote in the House of Representatives to walk things. She pointed out that the Finance Committee after its contact with the President of the House of Representatives will come out with a legal version of the budget law to be included in the work of the caretaker government or to transfer the budget to the President of the Republic in order to send to Parliament. The resigned Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, said during his speech at the meeting of the Council of Ministers, on Wednesday, December 4, 2019, that the government has reached the final stages in the preparation of the budget 2020, but cannot send, because it has become a caretaker government daily. Not it has the right to send bills. Abdel Mahdi stressed that the government is looking for what we are getting out of this case now for the necessity to pass the budget and pass it by the House of Representatives on the specified date, while acknowledging that the government should have submitted it in the tenth month of the current year, but the events that occurred last November affected the completion and transmission to Parliament. Next article of interest, Abdul Mahdi, we will send the final accounts to Parliament from 2013 until now. Resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi confirmed, on Wednesday, that the Council of Ministers will send the Parliament the final accounts from 2013 to date. Abdul Mahdi said during the meeting of the Council of Ministers and followed by the agency information, the Council of Ministers will send the final accounts of the House of Representatives in the coming days, noting that the accounts will include the final accounts since 2013 until this year. He added that all previous governments since the era of Abdul Karim Qasim and the first Ba'athist era in previous democratic governments did not send the final accounts to the House of Representatives to know the size of the loss and profit, noting that the final accounts are important to know the government's financial and economic policies. Next article of interest, Significant Facilities for the Investment Sector in Nineveh Nineveh Governor Najim Abdullah al Jubari participated in the opening of the International Forum for Investment and Reconstruction in Nineveh, funded by the U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID, in the presence of a number of personalities. Speaking at the forum held in Erbil and attended by morning yesterday, 
Jubury pointed out that the federal government allocations from the annual financial budgets for reconstruction in Nineveh do not exceed $1 billion annually, stressing the importance of relying on investments in many areas to promote the province and complete construction and reconstruction. He added, Nineveh has the potential of geography, human and natural resources with security stability, which creates the right atmosphere for investment, in addition to the presence of Iraqi and foreign companies operating in Mosul, and this reflects the existence of the right environment to work and investment in all areas. The governor expressed the readiness of the local government to provide all facilities for investors and commercial companies to work and implement their projects and achieve their objectives clearly. In the meantime, the governor of Nineveh, during the opening of four departments of municipalities in the districts and districts of the province, the launch of 2,000 degrees of employment in accordance with the contracting system for municipalities. Next article of interest. The Kurdistan region finance announced the delivery of 250,000 barrels of oil to Baghdad. The Minister of Finance of the Kurdistan Regional Government, Awad Sheikh Janab, announced on Thursday that the federal government in Baghdad delivered 250,000 barrels of crude oil per day. Sheikh Janab said in a joint press conference held with the Secretary of the Provincial Council of Ministers Amanj Rahim and head of the Cabinet Office of the Provincial Council Omid Sabah that, we have decided to hand over 250,000 barrels of oil per day per month to Baghdad. He added, we agreed on a formula for paying the loans, adding that, most of the Kurds' demands have been proven. He pointed out that, we have reached an agreement with Baghdad on the budget and oil noting that reducing the share of the Kurdistan region in the financial budget was unfortunately a political decision. The minister added that our negotiations this time with Baghdad were successful, stressing that if Baghdad abides by the agreement, there will not be any problems regarding the payment of employee salaries. He continued, the bull is now in the Iraqi parliament's court regarding the budget stressing that the Kurdistan region will abide by the agreement that we reached with Baghdad. Next article of interest. Kurdistan Regional Government. We will contribute to increase the financial revenues of Iraq. The Secretary of the Kurdistan Regional Council, Amin Rahim, confirmed on Thursday that the region will contribute to raising financial revenues for Iraq according to the agreement he reached with the federal government on budget and oil. Rahim said in a joint press conference held with the Minister of Finance Awad Sheikh Janab and the head of the Cabinet Office of the region Omid Sabah that the federal fiscal budget for 2020 is still in the process of legislation. He added that the Kurdistan region will contribute to increase financial revenues for Iraq in accordance with the agreement we reached with Baghdad, stressing that the recent agreement is in the interest of both sides. Iraq has borrowed $62 billion part of which has nothing to do with the Kurdistan region, he said. He pointed out that the region will provide Baghdad with information about the debt of the Kurdistan region, noting that the region's debt will be fixed in the financial budget for the next year. Rahim said there was an understanding between Erbil and Baghdad about the debt. Next article of interest. Finance of Kurdistan announces the start of the distribution of September salaries next week. Shafak News slash the Ministry of Finance and Economy of the Kurdistan Regional Government announced today, Thursday, the start of distributing the salaries of the region's employees as of next week. A source in the ministry said that next Sunday, teen will witness the beginning of the distribution of the salaries of the month of September 2019 to the office of the Ministry of Beshmerga and the brigades affiliated to the ministry. The source added that the distribution process will then continue according to the schedule set for all government departments and institutions. Next article of interest. Iraq is an active partner in reviving trade between neighboring countries. The process of regulating the transport of goods and attention to the work of ports plays an important role in the economic junction, because Iraq has important ports, which gives it a strategic importance between countries especially neighboring countries in activating trade and favoring it in favor of Iraq through the coordination of the work, logistics cities. 
the Minister of Transport Engineer Abdullah Labi, the need to use modern technological methods and electronic systems and extract a database of all aspects of work, which will be one of the output statistics and data accurate and correct and important for foreign trade and useful for all official authorities. This came during the 23rd meeting of the National Committee for the Facilitation of Transport and Trade in the Esqua region which was held in the presence of undersecretaries of the ministries and heads of private sector unions and members of the committee at the headquarters of the ministry. The committee discussed the topics on the agenda, which included six chapters, including statistics and data of foreign trade for Iraq, the accumulation of containers and goods in Iraqi ports, the activation of river transport and mass transit and other issues related to the problems and obstacles facing transport and trade and the Ministry of Health in the city of Baghdad. The minister continued, after the clear demand for Iraq's ports, because of its strategic importance in activating trade between neighboring countries, it is necessary to create storage yards, logistics cities, allocated for the storage examination and delimitation of goods in order to evacuate the docks of ports and allocate them to the work of ports exclusively to encourage merchants and do not accumulate goods in the port. The activity of commercial traffic in the ports of Basra is the interest of the majority of foreign investment companies, amid efforts to restore this city to its position as a major commercial center in the Gulf region while showing the need to accelerate the implementation of simplified customs clearance to facilitate the entry of materials and goods needed by Iraq in the reconstruction infrastructure. The minister called for activating the electronic systems, electronic attachment, and tracking trucks between border outlets and customs warehouses in a way that ensures their access to their specific destinations pointing out the importance of activating river transport in the capital Baghdad and all governorates as an advanced civilization process. He pointed to the need to activate mass transport to alleviate the traffic momentum in the streets, calling for overcoming obstacles and obstacles to work in cooperation between the concerned authorities to facilitate the wheel of progress and catch up with developed countries. For their part, the participants express their satisfaction with the serious measures taken by the National Committee of Esquit Close Times and the continuous follow-up of all details periodically and in coordination with all concerned to come up with recommendations to develop and serve the reality of transport and trade in Iraq. In turn, stressed economic researcher Shema Abdul Rasul that the facilitation of work procedures in ports would encourage foreign companies invested to come more to Iraq. In an interview with Al Saba, Al Saba said that the procedures under which the ports are operating, despite the adoption of customs tariffs, do not live up to international standards of work. Local merchants and international companies entering Iraq are seeking customs clearance facilities in ports, but the procedures follow delay the process of speeding up the entry of materials needed by investors in the implementation of their projects, she said pointing out that access to customs facilities would maximize efficiency capabilities to a world-class level, along with providing speed and reliability for the operation of Iraqi ports. Basra has five commercial ports and two oil ports. The first is al Makal, the mother port that was established in 1916 and the al Fau port, which was established in the same year. In the early 1970s, the port of Umm Qasr was built. In 1974, Kral Zubair and Abu Flus port were built on the banks of the Shat al Arab. Next article of interest. The Minister of Defense discusses with the American envoy to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs the joint cooperation in the field of training and armament. Defense Minister Naja al Shamari on Thursday discussed with U.S. State Department envoy James Jeffrey cooperation in the field of training and armament. Shamari received U.S. State Department envoy James Jeffrey, the Pentagon said in a press release. During the meeting, which was attended by senior officers of the Ministry of Defense, they discussed joint cooperation in the field of training, armament and capacity building. Next article of interest. Rafa Dane announced its readiness to finance investment companies and investors to build residential compounds. 
The Rafa Dane Bank announced on Thursday that it is ready to finance investment companies and investors who want to build housing complexes or commercial centers and other investment activities that contribute to supporting the national economy. The media office of the bank said in a statement, Economy News received a copy of it, that investors and companies wishing to obtain financing and financial marketing should visit them to see the bank for terms of granting loans to serve the public interest. The statement added that the housing complexes that have been financed and marketed for the purpose of building housing for citizens are Dewan Residential Complex in Mosul, Pearl Sawa Complex in Mathana, Al Kathar Residential Complex in Babylon, Alon Residential Complex in Jalala, Bab al Nasiraya Residential Complex in Nasiraya, Salam City Complex in Najaf, Babylon Land Complex in Babylon, Jabal Amul Residential Complex in Dawania, Al Amul Housing Complex in Basra, Doha Housing Complex in Mathana, Zagora Residential Complex in Nasiraya, Aziz Residential Complex in Assyria, Integrity Residential Complex in Assyria, Bissan Complex Residential in Assyria. Next article of interest. Saleh and an American envoy discuss international support for Iraq and achieve the required reforms. President Baran Saleh received at the Peace Palace in Baghdad on Thursday, the U.S. Special Envoy to Syria James Jeffrey and the U.S. Ambassador to Iraq Matthew Toller and the delegation accompanying them. During the meeting, they discussed international support to enhance the security and stability of Iraq and achieve the required reforms, and stressed the importance of developing bilateral relations and expanding the horizons of cooperation and trade exchange between the two countries in the service of common interests, said a presidential statement. They also reviewed the latest developments in Syria and the events in the region and the need to consolidate international peace and security. Next article of interest, Al Murshidi. He went to dissolve parliament after deciding the candidate of the next prime minister. Wisdom Movement MP Azad Al Murshidi announced on Thursday moves to dissolve parliament and go to early elections immediately after the post of prime minister is decided. Al Murshidi said that political dialogues are taking place among members of parliament to dissolve the parliament and go towards early elections. He added that there is great support among members of parliament and political blocs on the proposal to dissolve parliament, noting that the proposal to resolve after the resolution of the prime minister's candidate and recommendations to his next government. He explained that there is another movement taking place and calls to change the presidents of the Republican parliament after the prime minister, but he is entering the country with the tunnel of a new crisis, and Al Tate is heading towards dissolving parliament in early elections. Like and subscribe to be alerted as news unfolds from Iraq. Get your free trial copy of the new currency exchange planner. Link is in the description below. Register and an email will be sent to you with the download link. Mention the Denarian and get 20% off the full version. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. More articles of interest to come. Over and out for now. The Denarian.